we're taking up two sub open carry issues, um, both of which relate to um, smart meters. Um, the first is in docket 2011-262. It's taking up a um, motion from Central Maine Power Company on the scope of the proceeding and um, an argument for preemption put forward by the company. Um, my, my view would be, in short, of this issue, we've seen this argument once before when it was presented to the commission um, before the appeal. Um, it's also been presented to the law court and both the commission previously and the law court did not see fit to address it. Um, but CMP has raised it a third time. Um, my view, to articulate it since they've raised it clearly, um, is that um, under the Commission's prior precedent in the main Yankee case, among other cases, that while well, if it's absolutely clear we are preempted, we can recognize that and rule that way. Um, there's a, a general rule that unless it's under the most obvious case is that we won't find preemption. In this case, the argument for preemption isn't clear facial preemption under the statute. It's for um, filling the area through federal regulation and that, that itself um, is a uh, more difficult preemption argument. So under our general presumption that we um, won't find preemption unless it's obvious, and it's certainly not obvious in this case. It requires quite a bit of um, legal and factual argument. I don't think it's appropriate to find preemption here. Um, and that said, I think CMP argue, arguably recognizes that in their reply comments where they, um, they make the backup argument that um, they ask us to rule as a matter of law that the FCC's RF emission standards apply to smart meters. Now, those emission standards are set for mobile devices. Um, they're not necessarily set for um, other devices, though that's an issue in the case. So um, I think that's an evidentiary issue as well as a legal issue, which we'll, we already have been um, hearing some argument on and we'll be seeing evidence on. So I think ruling on that would not be appropriate at this juncture. Um, I don't see a clear legal argument. Um, so that, that would be my my suggestion, subject to Commissioner Boyd of Noise views. I would agree with you, Commissioner Littell, um, that I don't find this as as being preempted at this, uh, on this case. I also would look at um, the question of the RF emission standard as as at the heart of the case, as far as the evidence that is brought forward through the course of the case, and we look forward to that portion of the case. Okay, so to be clear, we'll expect to see arguments and evidence on those issues, and we'll decide it um, in the case. And that said, we look forward to um, the parties expeditiously proceeding. And one last point I would note um, is um, there the CMP in its motion or suggested, I think, that we take a look at or one of their filings, their, their filing, um, that we haven't done that. We simply haven't had time to do that on other issues. So we haven't considered any additional evidence in making um, any of the evidentiary filings that have been made, primarily CMP's case. I just want to make that, make that clear on the record. Okay. Um, next issue. I have a hearing difficulty. Um, is there okay. some way you could all be sure that Sure, we'll try to speak up. Thank you, ma'am. Or use your mics. Yeah. That's, yeah. Okay. And um, to anyone who has that issue of you hold your hand up to your ear, I'll know what it means. And if I don't see you, hold your arm up. Okay, a second issue um, is in a newly filed 10-person um, complaint in docket 2012-412. That's item six. This is a new 10-person complaint filed um, with a lead complaint and Deborah Oliver. Um, staff have reviewed the complaint and um, believe that the issues overlap with the Friedman um, and Friedman complaint and that there are um, no significantly new issues that are not already subject to the investigation in the Friedman complaint, which is focused on the health and safety issues we use for shorthand there. Um, so with that, um, I think it would be appropriate to consolidate the two rather than have two investigations open so we can consider them together. So we'd have two investigations with two lead complainants. And uh, as always, we encourage the parties to coordinate um, and if possible, have um, common counsel. That would certainly help both the parties um, 
figuring out our legal procedure, and um, it would help the commission in, in uh, figuring out who's speaking for who. So if that's possible, we'd encourage you to talk to one another. But that would be my recommendation to consolidate the new 10-person complaint that we'll call the Oliver complaint in with the current um, investigation of the Friedman case on remand. Thank you, Commissioner Lettel. I would agree with the items brought up in the Oliver complaint uh, do make sense to consolidate these two cases and proceed forward. So I'd agree to consolidate. Great. Okay. Any additional clarification necessary for our orders? Okay. We'll, con we'll continue. Thank you, everyone, for your attention. We are adjourned.